السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا فلاور فینٹیسی اسٹوڈیو تھینک یو سو مچ فار یور امیزنگ ریسپانس آن اور فلورل ایکسیسریز ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ آئی میک بگ فلورل ایئر رنگس فار مائی یو مہندی انگیجمنٹس اینڈ ویڈنگس سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ود دا تھنگس دیٹ وی نیڈ وی نیڈ اے ہارڈ وائر سی دس از دا وائر It's hard. It's easily available at the local craft craft stores. Then we had the flowers and stamens and these are hooks, the earring hooks. These are also easily available. We need two of them. Then this is the lace, the gota lace. We are going to embellish our earrings with the help of this lace. Now this is the glue that I'm going to use. You can also use any strong glue or a glue gun or any other glue that you like. Then these are the stamens. They are going to add a little bit of color to the earrings. And then we have flowers the yellow flowers these are paper flowers these are also easily available then we have the dark pink the shocking pink colored flowers and you will see how natural look they are going to give to the earrings now these are the yellow stamens that we are going to use then we have a nose piler It is very useful when you are working with wire and gives a finishing look to the product when you use it. Then we have a cutter. Here is the cutter that we are going to use. So let's begin. Now you take the wire and you twist it round on a round object to give it a shape like this. We're going to cover it with the wire. Take the wire in hand and cover it on a round object. Now keep twisting the ends. Lock the ends. Twist the hands with your fingers. Give it a shape. Now you cut it over here. Take the cutter and cut it right away. Similarly we are going to make the other one the shape has to be has to be round but it is not like it has to be perfectly round it's okay if it's a bit rough shape Then you take the other one you take the wire and cover it on this round edge twist the ends lock the ends and then you are going to cut it take the other one also and just shape them properly they both should be equal now cut it with the cutter now you remove the wire and remove the earring space from the cover shape it with your hands now give it a proper round shape after doing this what we need to do is make a loop
bend it with the help of the nose pilers. What you need to do is twist it with the nose piler. Twist one end of the wire and the other end with the other end you make the loop. Okay? And then twist the end. This takes a little bit of time. Now you shape the both of the base, shape both of the bases and give them a round look now again twist one of the ends and with the other end make a loop Just turn it round and around. Twist it around. Now as you see the two earrings bases are ready. With the help of finder I am going to give it a finishing look. Now you want to shape them again and see if they are equal or not. If they are not equal, just try pressing them with your hands. Okay. Press them with your hand. Now you take the gota lace and you have 
to glue this on the earring base now like this okay so you take the measurement and cut the gouda lace accordingly this is the first rib this is the first we need four more we need four in total sorry one more so we got one more from the lace yeah this is the fourth one okay now what we want to do is glue it on the earring base right and then attach it with the hook First we are going to attach the hook and then we will glue the lace. Alright. Just open it with the help of the pilot and attach it to the earring base. Okay? See like this. It will go into the loop. Now you close it with the help of the pile. Okay? Just press it around a little bit. Okay? Here it is. Now do the same with the other one. Take the hook, open it with the help of uh, the pilot and attach it to the earring base. It will enter into the loop. Now you close the ring with the help of the pyro. So this is the very basic step that you need to understand while making the earrings. How you are going to make the earring base and how you are going to attach the hook to, to it. And then this is how we are going to glue the place on our base. Now just see they are equal 
and then press them with your hands to make them equal, right? Here. I'm pressing them with my hands uh, to make them appear round and give them a perfect round look. So now I'm going to take the lace and apply glue on the back side of the lace. Yeah, here in the middle of the lace, I'm going to apply the glue like this and then apply it on the whole lace. Then I'm going to glue it on the base on both the sides on the front and on the back see I applied glue to the lace then I applied it on the then I glued it on the earring base and then I glued the other side as well now these are the stamens that I want to use so I'll just cut them cut the stems like this and I'm going to glue them on the earrings I'm going to apply glue on the earrings and I'm going to glue them right like this over here now just cutting the stems with the help of the scissor like this right here and now apply glue on the lace and then glue the flowers the stamens the first we are going to glue the stamens and then on top of the stamens we are going to glue the flowers alright here I am showing you how you are going to glue this see I have glued all the stamens and now I am gluing the flowers here on the stamens I have glued the pink flowers and now I am gluing the yellow flowers here like this similarly you are going to glue the red stamens with the help of this glue you take it like this and fold it from the middle twist it and then apply some glue and then paste it in between wherever you want to place them like this all right this is how i've done it so now the beautiful floral earrings for your mehendi mayo or for whatever occasion you want to wear them are just ready and these are very pretty so this is how I make my floral earrings I hope you like it and please do let me know in comments if you want to ask something about it this is the final look of the earrings thank you so much for watching if you like the video please share with your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you so much Allah Hafiz